All right, this time I got a video called Top 50 Genius Enemy Characters with the Highest IQs Ever from Animatopia. Uh, go check his videos out. Maybe it's good. Let's check it out though, huh? We're gonna have to play the white room for this one. This, this thing's gonna be spicy. How really smart are these characters in anime, man? Let's get it. First up, Akagi. This is the Shogi guy, right? No, this is the gambler one, right? Where it goes like Zawa, Zawa, right? 140 IQ. So hold up, hold up. Before we get started on this, let's just do a quick check. What IQ is considered genius? I think that if you need to use an IQ to justify how smart you are, you're fucking stupid. I think that the IQ test specifically tests specific sp parameters that is not really standardized to show actual intelligence. I think that true intelligence is being able to critically think for yourself and be able to rationally think and come up with your own opinions. But if we do a quantifiable measure, let's look at this. 90 to 10, 110, normal, average, or intelligence. Most people are going to be in this range. 110 to 120 is superior intelligence. 120 to 140 is very superior, and above 140 is near genius or genius. Who decides this shit? I don't know, but I'm just going off of that chart, man. And right now, Akagi is 140 to start it off. Next up, we got... Wait. The fourth Hokage Minato is 142? And remember... These numbers are most likely bullshit numbers that were taken out of her asses, okay? This is all just for fun and games, alright? 142. Yo, Shiba Tatsuya should be more than 144, man. I feel like Onisama is so smart. Let's go. Next up. Come on. Gauther. Seven Deadly Sins, 146. Sato from Ajin 148. Uh, haven't seen. It's 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 difficult for me to believe that these characters are smarter than Onisama. But then again, I guess this guy has glasses, so I guess he is smart. Don't even know what Ajin is. Next up, we have Aldno Zero Inaho Kaizuka. Isn't this the mech anime that was really hyped up? IQ 149. We have 152 from Sailor. Wait. You tell me a Sailor Moon girl is smarter than Onisama? No shot. No shot this random cosplaying ass fucking girl. Mercury. 152? Canonically, she's that smart? Alright, I guess so, man. Alright. Oh, Hunter Hunter! Kirua Zoldic. 152. Alright, at least we have Kilua above Mercury, man. Next up. What the fuck is... What is... What was this? Mavis? Mavis? 153... Really? Fairy tale character. Alright, I guess they're that smart. Next. Oda Nobunaga. Not the real Oda Nobunaga in history, but Drifters Oda Nobunaga. 154. Oh yeah, I believe this one. I, I believe this one. Aizen and Urahara Kisuke from Bleach are the most bullshit characters. They're so bullshit that in order to show how smart they are, every time you think that you beat Aizen, you outsmarted him, and he does this thing every time. <laughs> Since when were you under the assumption that I used my Shikai or something? It's just like, come on, bro. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Are you you cannot just have this get out of free jail card by just always saying since when were you under the assumption yet he he gets away with it every time somehow. Next up, oh Log Horizon, one fifty six, bro. Uh, this guy's smarter than Kirito for sure, right? Uh, video game animes, right? Log Horizon. Next up. Danganronpa, Kyoko Kirigiri. Danganronpa is the murder mystery visual novel game as well as an actual anime. One of these days, I want to actually play the game. I probably don't want to watch the anime. I probably want to actually play the game. Next up. Black Butler Kid? Black Butler Kid? Huh. Okay. 
feel the Black Butler kit is 158. All right. You're better than just being used, you know, to cross-dress and be put in feminine outfits, huh? Oh, yeah. One out. The psychology mastermind, right? This guy is all about the fucking inner psyche as a baseball and being able to just, like, destroy an entire league with this, like, supreme IQ, right? I can actually believe this one. Toa Tokuchi. Next. <laughs> is Armin that's... Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Our Armin literally... Whenever you got a problem... Armin, give us a solution. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Next up. There's an anime called Phi Brain. Kaito Daimon. 160 right now. Next up. Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Really? Is he actually 161 IQ? I mean, he's doing alchemy. And if you're gonna do alchemy, you gotta be pretty smart, right? I, I, I guess so that makes sense. Next. Do ra da 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 Izaya Orihara. This guy looks pretty cracked, not gonna lie. Just based off of his demeanor and his look in his face, he looks pretty fucking confident and smart. I could believe it. Oh, Tanya! Hey! The isekai that one of these days will cover. 164. Above Izaya. Next. Ghost in the Shell, haven't seen, sorry. Sorry, too busy watching Naruto One Piece Bleach. Don't have time for these classics. Motoko 172. Promise Neverland. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Promise Neverland, I can totally understand, right? Because it's like basically like an orphanage of like genius gifted kids, right? So this kid is 175. Zankyo no Terror. Nine. Wait. There's two boys in that show, right? If this guy's name is 9, is his partner's name 11? And like, they obviously had that terror episode happen on 9-11, just like Mushoku Tensei episode happened on Father's Day. That's hilarious. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> they actually named the characters 9 and 11, dude. That's unhinged. That's actually unhinged. Yanagi Wenli. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Sorry, Yang Wenli. Um... I know that there's a character named Sieg Kaiser Reinhardt, which is the blonde dictator, and like, he's supposed to be battling this guy in a battle of wits, right? That's the extent of, I know, Legend of the Galactic Heroes, but... Okay. Ooh! Neon Genesis Evangelion! Uh, the guy that tells Shinji, hey, pussy. Get in the fucking robot. Stop crying. Gendo Ikari. Doesn't this guy always just look like this? This dude is permanently stuck in this pose with his fucking glasses like shining white. He just always like... <laughs> this is his default pose. Every time I see a picture of him, he just, he's just assuming this position right now. Next up! Oh, we got Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone Senku Ishigami. Well... The whole premise of this show is him using science to get out of, like, the prehistoric ages or something, right? Next, we got Doc from Helsing Ultimate. Again, another show that I never watched because I'm too busy watching Battle Shonen. 180. I hear that the Abrid series is pretty fun for this. Next, Dr. Kano, Tokyo Ghoul. Well, his, he's a doctor. So I'm going to assume that he's smart, because he's a doctor. Sure. Next, Soul Leader. His name is Franken Stein. Last name Stein, first name Franken. Um, I mean, isn't Frankenstein the literal monster? But I don't know what's going on here with Soul Leader. Next, Assassination Classroom, Koro Sensei, 185. Uh, I mean, he's a teacher, right? He's like a teacher, so... I don't think teachers are actually this smart, but this guy is. Oh, here we go. Sora and Shiro, no game, no life. 190 each? Both 190? Alright. Alright. Next up. 
Johan Lieberto. Monster. This is the antagonist of the show Monster. Where people say if there's like a perfect anime, people will probably say Legend of Galactic Heroes or Monster, right? Johan Lieberto. Okay, 190. He's offering me a bottle. <laughs> um, I know two poses of him. Uh, this this is a very memeable one where the bottle just changes to whatever liquor it is for the fucking memes. And there's another one where he like points, right? He's like, he does this. That's the only two memes that I've seen from Monster. Next one. <laughs> Even your one like can help my channel to grow. <laughs> I mean, I already fucking. All right, take my like. Hey, hey. go to, go to the video. Check him out, okay? Check him out. Give him a like, all right? Give him a like, man. Ooh, go juice him up. Thirty-four likes, guys. There's two hundred motherfuckers in here right now. Go juice him up. Come on, go juice him up, man. Next up. Oh, Sosuke Aizen. <laughs> Since when were you under the assumption? that my IQ was only 192. I could totally see Sosuke Aizen coming at the very end of the video and saying, my Rui true IQ was never 192. You were simply under the illusion. Bulma? Yeah, I believe it. Bulma comes from a family of geniuses. The technology during that era of anime, bro, literally, like the capsule corp, the whole idea of the capsules, beyond insane. True, she literally created a time machine too. Bulma is insane. Bulma and her technological advances, bro. She's like Elon Musk times 2000. Bulma is absolutely a tech billionaire. Next up, Kurotsuji. Really? Smarter than Aizen? I, I know this guy's smart. I know this guy's smart, but smarter than Aizen and Kisuke Urahara? No! Wasn't the lore that Urahara was smarter than, you know, Kurutsuki, Mayuri, and that's why he got jealous, right? Was that not literally the lore? I thought Urahara and Aizen are a league beyond Kurutsuki. I'm not saying he's stupid. Kurutsuki is definitely one of the smartest people in Soul Society, but over Aizen and Urahara? No way! Next up, Shikamaru. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it, bro. I totally believe that Shikamaru is this smart. I don't know if he's smarter than Aizen, but he is stupidly smart relative to his peers in this show, right? Shikamaru, one of the only persons to actually pass the tuning exams as well, right? This dude, like, is stupid smart, but is he smarter than Bulma? Like, I know that he's smart, but is he smarter than Bulma? I don't see Shikamaru's ass fucking creating a Dragon Ball radar, man. Next up, Detective Conan. All right. All right. All right. Hot take. Hot take. If it takes you... If it takes you over two decades... And you still can't find... You know, you can't solve the mystery of why you got turned into a midget. Are you really that smart, Conan? Let me, let me propose that question. Is he really that smart if it still hasn't solved the mysteries? Fraud. For detective fraud, bro. I ain't taking this shit. No, you are stalling. You are stalling until the end of time. Fuck you. He solved it though? I don't care. It took him too long. It took him way too fucking long. <laughs> Okabe Rintaro, uh, Steins Gate. Uh, the time travel dude, right? Uh, I'll, I mean, he has a doctor's coat on. I'll assume that he's smart on that basis alone in time traveling. Next. A Dr. Genus, One Punch Man. Oh, yeah. Um, the whole lore of Dr. Genus was he was trying to, like, figure out the ultimate creation, but then he got humble because Saitama showed him that no matter how much you do with scientific, you know, exp ex uh, experimentations, you can never surpass me who simply unreleased a limiter by becoming bald and <laughs> fucking study I mean, working out. Uh, Dr. Genus? I mean, he is definitely really smart, but I don't know if he's this high up. Next up, L. Lolliot. Now, 
I haven't seen Dark Death Note, but I think everyone can agree that L is like one of the smartest people ever, right? Like, there's L, there's Light, and then there's that Near guy, right? Like, they should be definitely at the top of the list. If you're gonna put Dr. Genus up here, um, Metal, Metal, who is it? What's it? Not Metal Bat. Bofu. Uh, the doctor's name is Bo something. Bofus? There, there is a Metal Knight. Metal Knight should be smarter than Dr. Genius, I think. Next up. Desti Nova. So called Battle Angel Alita. Child Emperor as well. Yeah, Child Emperor should be on that list as well. I have no clue who Desti Nova is. Uh, sure. Next up, here we go. Yagami Raito. <laughs> I'll take this potato chip and eat it. Bro's a genius, right? Next. Ooh. Code Geras. We got Lulu. Lerouche v. Britannia. All right. 210 plus, bro. 210 plus. We're in the top 10 now, by the way. This is going to get ridiculous. Who are going to be the top 10 after this? Next up. Oh, ho, ho! Kiyotaka. Ayano Koji! But he's seven? Only seven? Also, did the light novel ever state his IQ? Did, did the light novel ever state his IQ in a quantifiable way? Because if the light novel actually gave him a number in the IQ... Okay, okay, okay. Well, I know Ayano Koji's smart. Is he smarter than Lirush? Is he smarter than Light? I don't know. I mean, this whole... Okay. Guys, this entire video is cap. You can't just get here and get mad that Ayano Koji is 250. When every other character before, he simply increased the IQ by one every time. We're pulling this shit out our ass right now. You need to understand it. This entire video is cap. We're just doing this for fun, okay? Next up. Dr. Vegapon from One Piece. That's right. The genius of geniuses, right? 300. Vegapunk. I mean, he looks like Einstein as well. Vegapunk over Ayano Koji. Next. <laughs> what? Why is this homoerotic stripper 400 IQ? What? No. More than Vega? More than Ayano Koji? What the fuck did this Cars guy do? What? Cars is the ultimate in I don't care. What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> There's no way. He's just flexing on me right now. That pose is immaculate. I'll give you that. But what the fuck is this logic? <laughs> you tell me this character is actually that good. Really? Cars is the ultimate life form? Okay, sure. His biceps are super wide. He's super hot. I get it. But really? 400? Over a Vegapunk? All right, let's go next. Number four. Psyche Kusuo. Uh, I don't really know this show other than it's a four coma show that's really loved. And it's like a comedy show, right? 500 plus. Psyche is smart? Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. Next up. Hunter Hunter. Meruem IQ 999. Ooh. Yo, we're about to get into the quadruple digits territory. And the man standing at the top of the triple digits IQ is a being called Meduim. Man, his ears look like the Buddha's. Look at how droopy his ears are, man. Next up. Number two. IQ 5000! Now, it, it, did the Pokemon manga ever actually state Alakazam's IQ? <laughs> 5000, bro! 5 fucking thousand! <laughs> Can't even speak human language, don't matter! He got fucking, fucking ESP powers, man! He got the fucking psychic powers, man! The Pokedex that's 5000 IQ? Really? 
How the fuck did this dumbass get fucking caught by a bunch of kids then? You telling me a being that has over 5,000 IQ is getting caught by a bunch of fucking eight-year-old kids? Come on, man. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for the final contestant? The supreme being of intelligence that rules over everyone here beyond an IQ of 5,000. Who's it gonna be? I have no clue. Wait, it's not over. I don't think it's over yet. I don't think it's over yet. There's one more action. I think there's a zero tier. Hold up. This is Tenchi Muyo Washu Hakubi. Too high to be measured by IQ. I have no clue what this is. I got no clue, but it's not over yet. We actually have a being that surpasses rank one. Are you ready for rank zero? Let's go. <laughs> yeah! Jujutsu Kaisen's on the map! No, no, no. Toto Aoi actually is a giga smart person. He has these schizo delusions happening in a fraction of a second, and he can make all these calculations in like a fraction of a fucking frame. He is absolutely crazy. And yes, he claims to have 530. Remember, he doesn't have 530,000 IQ. He says, he, he, it's like a self-proclaimed thing, okay? It's like when I say I'm the React Messiah, okay? We're just capping right now, okay? <laughs> Number zero, zero, Todo Aoi. Now, is there one more after this? No, nah, that's it. All right. <laughs> That'll do for today's, you know, chart video. Please go give Animatopia a like on the video. Check out his channel, guys. I know that these numbers are being pulled out of the asses. However, it's still very fun. And at the end of the day, it's just for entertainment, all right?